Alrighty, welcome back everybody. So, here we are. We are back, and we're going to recap the June Joust real quick. So, two weeks ago at this point, kind of crazy, um, but we had the exact same matchup as uh, as the first um, tournament, or main melee, but we had a different winner. So, as you can see, looking at the bracket right here, we had Atlanta Rain, uh, 3 oming New York, to not many people's surprise. Um, they looked really strong. And then, in a surprise blowout, we had Dallas Fuel take down Shanghai Dragons, 3-0. to zero. So, again, I was shocked on that one. Um, the teams played mirror comps, except for the main tank role. We had Dallas playing the more prevalent, um, used Winston, and Shanghai going for the Wrecking Ball strategy, which, again, did not work out well for them. Um, they got they got smoked, and, you know, for me and I think a lot of other people, it was like, oh, okay, so Dallas Atlanta winner is going to is gonna decide this one. So, going down to the loser bracket, Shanghai, then 3-0'd New York. It's, you, as you can see, we had a lot of 3 in Overwatch. Um, and then we had Fuel taking down Atlanta 3-1. to one. That was a fascinating match because, to me, Atlanta's Atlanta's DPS duo was just way better. They they were just so much better, especially on the Echo. Pelican was leagues better than Sparkle was. Like I in I would love to see somebody try to contest that because it was one of the most blaring DPS discs we've ever seen. But uh, fortunately for Dallas and unfortunately for Atlanta, Dallas had the much better main tank. Fearless outclassed Gator in every way possible on the Winston. Um, and even though Jexay has taken fire over the years, you know, for questionable plays, you know, feeds, throwing ults away, and, you know, deservingly so. He's he's done it before. He's also had really, really good games. You know, he had some standout games last year with the Outlaws with his uh, with some crazy boops. Um, and I thought he played really, really well in that Atlanta match. Masa just threw away. And to be, you know, to be fair, Fearless again was so good on on his primals. He, you know, he kept uh, Masa in the air while he was dropping beat a couple of times, which led to him dying. But at the end of the day, you have to get your beat down. And when he did get his beat down, it felt like it was when two of his teammates were already dead and they had no chance of turning a fight, um, or he died mid cast. So. I thought that, you know, on the Lucio roll and the Winston roll, Dallas just had such a big advantage. Fearless and Jexay outperformed their um, counterparts to a, to just to such a high degree that they were able to pull that one out 3-1. to one. Uh, But highly entertaining match, you know. It was clearly the best match of the tournament until the final. Um, and then in the loser's bracket, again, I didn't think this would be 3-0, um, but Shanghai just clobbered Atlanta. Um... Yeah, it, kind of tough for Atlanta because I like, I feel like they would have been in that. They would have maybe won a map or even two, you know, if they had played like they did against Dallas. But you could tell Shanghai was starting to, you know, really get some momentum going, um, which brought us to the finals. And, man, I mean, you want to talk about a classic. You know, got to go down as one of the best ever. You know, the um, the May Melee match between these two was really good. You know, Dallas coming out ahead 4-2. to two. Um but I thought this match was significantly better. Um, you know, the swings were there. You know, Dallas just dominated. You know, it was 2-0, and I'm, I'm watching, and I'm just like, cool, this is going to be boring. We got repeat champions. You know, Shanghai isn't even close. You know, what is this ball strat? You know, my, myself and, you know, every other, every other you know, Overwatch uh, League YouTuber and streamer, you know, I'm, I'm sure we were, you know, an, all the analysts, we were all preparing to just shred Shanghai's coaching for this ball strat. Like, it's not working. You're getting no value. Dallas is just walking in on you and just getting so much more value out of Winston alts and just dominating neutral fights because you have to be so... Your coordination has to be just pinpoint. Um, you know, the dives have to be just absolutely incredible. And for Shanghai, they stuck to their guns. They're like, you know what? No, we're not, we're not switching. This, this is our game plan. This is what we're good at. We're going to execute on it. We didn't execute the first two maps, and we're going to do that now. And boy, did they. I mean, just legendary comeback. You know, it took, game, or it took map uh, three, you know, down three to one. Um, 
before they just absolutely turned it on. You know, they had Eichenwald when Dallas was up 3-2. It was just this crazy back-and-forth affair. Um, you know, Shanghai, you know, obviously eked out. Um, and, you know, then Shanghai finished them off map 7. So, I mean, seriously, it was it was a blur. Like, it was a rush of emotion. Like, I wasn't rooting for a particular team. You know, if I was rooting for one, it would, I guess it would be Dragons because, you know, Dallas won the last tournament, and I don't, you know, I don't like seeing the same team win again and again. So, you know, to see Shanghai, who have been so close so many times, you know, over the course of last year and this year, you know, to have them win, win that, um, you'll see seeing fate who, you know, who I've been critical of, who I think a lot of people have kind of been focusing on and pointing to this season. Like, well, if they don't make it over the top, it's fate. Like he's just he he's a re, you know he's a great guy, good team player, you know leader, but mechanically it's just not there when he's against somebody like Fearless. It just shows. But as somebody who doesn't even like Wrecking Ball. Wow, he put on an absolute masterclass the last five maps. I mean, you you really can't say enough about it. I mean, he coordinated with Fleta and Lip just flawlessly, honestly. Um, and it it was beautiful to watch, you know. And then you know you you gotta feel something, you know, emotionally when he's crying, you know, tears of joy after they win. As a guy who's been so close, you know, on so many teams, you know, had a great run on the on the Valiant. Um, but wow, it was, it was good to see. I was very happy for the, you know, the whole organization and him particularly because I mean, he, let's face it. They don't come back. They lose, you know, they get blown out. I think he's going to get a lot of heat again, you know, him and the coaching staff, um, you know, and more so than, you know, who, who cares, you know, about what all of us, you know, couch basement analysts say anyway, but more so just for him, you know, for him as a player, um, you know, as a guy who's been in the scene for so long to finally break through and win like that is awesome to see. So congrats to the Shanghai Dragons. They are our reigning champs. You know, for Dallas fans, you know, you had a you had a really good run. I don't think your team's going anywhere. Um, you know, feeling pretty good. Same thing for Atlanta. You know, this was the best run that they've made in a in a tournament yet. So strides are being made. You know, Pelican is a superstar. You know, New York, you made it. You didn't win a single map, but you made it, and, you know, you can build off that. You really can. So, again, that super young core maturing. Um, so, interesting to see what the comps were um, with the heroes that are banned. Um, you know, for the, going into Summer Showdown now, starting tomorrow, we are not going to have hero bans anymore. Every hero is available. So, we'll see how that affects what people are playing. You know, obviously, we're going to have a couple of patch, you know, um, of the last patch going in, too, with some, you know, nerfs to Moira as well as Echo. So, hopefully, we get some different comps. Um, you know, th these compositions got a little stale after a while. So, I'm curious to see what these, what each region, you know, decides is the best, um, you know, set of tanks and supports, um, and if we still see a lot of echo. So, yeah. Other than that, that is the June Joust recap. I was, I want to say, I was perfect. I was accurate on all my uh, June Joust predictions, except for I had Shanghai beating Fuel in the first one, and then Fuel beating Shanghai in the second one. Flip those two, and I was dead on. So. Um, you know, this is a, this is a decent, um, tournament prediction wise, but like I said, super fun to watch, you know, obviously a lot of blowouts early, but boy, did we get an amazing title match. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed as always. Thank you very much for watching. If you have not yet try to get over and watch that match, um, you will not regret it. Super fun. Lots of highs, lots of lows, you know, for each side. So, um, yeah, we, we've got two different champions now, two tournaments in Dallas Fuel and Shanghai Dragons. So super excited to see how the summer showdown goes down. Um, tomorrow you will see, uh, predictions go up for the summer showdown. So, uh, week number one. So look forward to that. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Any standout players, you know, did you think Shanghai was going to win? Um, you know, any results that really, um, surprised you or didn't surprise you. So. Other than that, I hope you have yourselves an absolutely wonderful weekend, and then I'll see you in the next one.